This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We're now less than 16 minutes away from the planned liftoff of the Apollo 11 space vehicle. All still going well with the countdown at this time. The astronauts aboard the spacecraft have had a little chance to rest over the last few minutes or so. At least they haven't been uh, busy with procedures with the spacecraft test conductor. In the meantime, we have been uh, performing final checks on the tracking beacons in the instrument unit, which is used as the guidance system during the powered phase of flight. Once we get down to the three minute and 10 second mark in the countdown, we'll go on an automatic sequence as far as the launch vehicle is concerned, all aspects from there on down will be automatic, run by the ground master computer here in the firing room. This will lead up to the 8.9 minute mark in the countdown when the ignition sequence will begin in those five engines of the first stage, the S1C stage of the Saturn V. At the two second mark, we'll get uh, information and a signal that all engines are running, and at the zero mark in the countdown, once we get the commit signal, the signal that says that the thrust is proper and acceptable, we then will get a commit and lift off as the hold down arms release the vehicle. We have some 7.6 million pounds of thrust pushing the vehicle upward, a vehicle that weighs uh, close to six and a half million pounds. We're now at 14 minutes, 30 seconds and counting. This is Kennedy Launch Control.
This is Apollo Saturn Launch Control. We've passed the 11 minute mark. Now T minus 10 minutes, 54 seconds on our countdown for Apollo 11. All still go at this time. The astronauts in the spacecraft busy again. The commander, Neil Armstrong, has uh, performed some final uh, switch settings for the stabilization and control system of the spacecraft. The spacecraft also now is on full internal power. This came shortly after the 15 minute mark spacecraft now in the full power of its fuel cells. Up to this time, it had been sharing the load with an external power source. Both Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin have armed their rotational hand controllers, the controllers they use in flight. And we have now gone to the automatic system with the emergency detection system, that system that would uh, cue the astronauts uh, if there's trouble down below with the Saturn V rocket during the powered flight. We're now coming up on the 10 minute mark, 10 minutes away from our planned liftoff. Mark, T minus 10 minutes and counting, T minus 10. We're aiming for our planned liftoff at 32 minutes past the hour. This is Kennedy Launch Control. <laughs> 